Hello, I'm Vineet back again with another video and today I'll be doing a head in comic book style. Let's get started. Drawing a sphere, a circle as you can imagine and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always tweak it with the digital tools and all necessary tweakings available inside Photoshop. I've just placed a cross which is the guideline for the face as you can see I'm placing the facial features like the brow, eyes, cheekbones, nose and the mouth. Here you can see that I've tweaked the nose a little bit because uh, to my design it was not fitting. Now I've placed the ears, placed the hairline, it's just sketching. Uh, go to intuition. Like tap into your mind and just draw it doesn't have to be perfect just loosen yourself just sketch it out and you can see that I have extended the guidelines and I'm making a side view because for comics you would like to have front side and a three quarter which will be drawing later as you can see that I have tweaked the head a lot even after the initial underlying structure because it doesn't matter if you are sketching and you are not loose your drawing could look stiff so loosen yourself and sketch it out it doesn't have to be perfect in the first go you can sketch it with layers and on and if you are having problems try drawing some skulls skulls are great to learning the head and drawing the facial features like this is the skulls that I'm drawing from pure imagination what I have in my visual library. It will help you to get better at drawing, placing the features on the face now is directly related where you place the features on the skull. So if you study the skull properly you will be able to place those features on the face too. Here you can see that I am refining the sketch a little bit. At this stage too it's pretty rough, nothing is final and you can go on over it to make the things the way you like. Now again in the side view you can see that uh, the nose is figured out, jawline, the hairline and because the front view is already established we have a clear understanding of what looks like front just we have to think what's on this side and it's quite easy right when you have a front and a side then you can easily draw a three quarter so again the simple step just take a sphere or a cylinder if you want to draw it with a cylinder it's also got a round surface but I recommend let it be a sphere draw the guides three guides the cross and the facial features start sketching it can be as much rough as you want but just remember the eyes and mouth are wrapped round so uh, tweak your sketches to the point where you think it's round enough and it's not disturbing the characteristics or the facial features now just drawing the hair and I've kept the hair quite simple because for comics you need to draw the character over and over many times so keeping things simple will help and again if you want to draw it in a different angle I recommend go ahead draw a skull then you can draw and here the skull that I have drawn is quite opposite like it's looking to the opposite where a character is looking again if I have to make it with the angle similar to the skull I can now I have just get some of the facial features on the head sketch with the underlying structure on it I have kept the layers quite clean and clear so that uh, it helped me and now defining the features a little bit and you can be loose at this point too it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect because we are just sketching right now you can reduce the opacity of the layers and where you can use the digital features of Photoshop as much as you want and at this stage if you plan to add inks or shadow you can do it very roughly it doesn't have to be perfect 
so uh, figure it out what you want to do so the underlying sketches are done now and I'm going to do a final pass for the drawing uh, because it's for the comics inking is what comes after the penciling stage so you can consider this as final pencils because here we are defining the contour lines and I have in mind that characters are quite three dimensional though we are drawing them on a 2D surface and through lines but we need to make them look they have a roundness to them and same for the side view also just going over the sketch defining and bringing the character to the life here I have taken a male head but for the next video I'll be doing a female head and I recommend that if you can sketch more and more it will just make your brain muscles and hand muscles more powerful at handling the visualization part as you can see that uh, I have moved ahead to the 3 fourth view because it is very necessary for comic book artists to have different angles of the head established way before they draw in the comic panel because you can have any camera angle as the editor comes out with the story and the layouts get approved if he has some sort of recommendation like I need some sort of angle which is not common and from the common angle I mean the straight on views like front side back up and down obviously well dialogue scenes are there they have been many instances like the cat is looking a little three quarter view or maybe more than three quarter view or less than three quarter view and this is all part of turnarounds so here we are and we have created our own turnaround for the character and I'll make sure that uh, I proceed with more comic book tutorials and here you can see we have completed a male comic book head with really easy steps it's mainly focused on sketching and intuition it's not something like it's structure heavy just you have to remember the placement underlying construction little bit of it goes and you'll have the maximum results like if you want to place the feature is only based on the character like if you want a goofy character just switch the placements man which will make the character a little different like having a big nose or big ears or having more square jaw or more rounded jaw it just depends on you and what the story demands and you can render it but keep it clean because it's the pencil stage so I would recommend that not having much lines to confuse the inker or if you are inking it yourself it will make you more confident to choose a single line rather than collective bunch of unconfident lines which are present on the drawing and if it's a complex scene just like a comic book panel it will be much difficult for you to ink decide and move forward so keep in mind to make your drawings clean so that they can be used in the next stages of a comic book production so see you guys in the next video with the female comic book head and i'll make sure to make it as simple as this one keep practicing and let me know if you want some other tutorials well I'm planning to make a complete comic book page tutorial like now it's the head I'll do a female head then bodies then you'll have characters and then we'll get a storyline of beat and complete a comic book page together and do the final pencilings I hope you like this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want more of this content to be made.